Good morning. <clears throat> Today we're going to be taking a look at this Dell Precision 3470. Uh, today's not going to be a, a review or, or in-depth, um, I guess, explanation of how I feel. What we're going to be doing today is taking it apart and installing some more RAM. It came with a 256 gigabyte SSD and 32 gigs of RAM. Right now, I'm going to upgrade the RAM and I'll show you how to upgrade the SSD in the event that that's something that you want to do also. So let's begin. First things first, got to get your screwdriver set and the company that I choose to use is iFixit. If you don't have anything from iFixit or you're not aware of what they do, by all means, check out their website. They essentially are a huge proponent in the right to repair, meaning that with all these electronics that we purchase, it should be up to us to be able to repair them the way that we want to without having to go to the uh, to the manufacturer. So for instance, I should not have to go to Dell in order to do anything with this machine. I mean, there will be some things that yes, sending it back to the manufacturer would be in my best interest. But for instance, what I'm doing here today, there should be no reason that I would have to contact Dell in order to upgrade some RAM. So get your Phillips screwdriver. And I believe all these screws are captive, so they should not fall out of the lid. Get myself a little pry tool. You know, when prying off bottoms, usually it's not that big of a deal. I know this one was a little a little tight. Let me make sure I got all the screws out. Nope, see, did not get all the screws. All right. Well. <laughs> Uh, I will say it is nice that this machine still has uh, an Ethernet port. Just notice it's one of these little guys that kind of drops down a little bit as opposed to just a standard full size uh, Ethernet port. And here we go. Let me go ahead and turn this around. So you got your internals, your battery, your NVMe SSD, your wireless card here if you wanted a WAN, a wireless WAN chip that will go there. Of course you have your fan and a single stick of RAM right there. So let's go ahead and get our new piece right here. So we have DDR5, uh, 4800 megahertz RAM right here is coming out of our anti-static bag. All right. There we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way that looks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that the two sticks aren't even, and they aren't, but um, the two slots right here aren't even either, so it, it is as it should be. Before I close everything up, I just wanted to point out that over here we have our 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. 
It's a Samsung drive, one that I put in the machine after I purchased it. The drive that actually came with the machine is this little guy. So one of the short boys, uh, this was 256 gigabytes. And to accommodate the fact that it's not, it's not a full length one, they give you this additional piece of plastic here. Uh, I'm honestly not sure what the performance would be of this in terms of read or write, but I figured, hey, I already have a 512 gig drive that I already owned. So instead of just using this, I decided to install that. At some point, I'll probably find something to, to do with this, but for the time being, I'm just, just keeping it in storage. All right, now let's go ahead and close everything up. And before I secure all the screws, since they're captive, I just want to turn it on. Actually, they're sticking out. That's kind of awkward. So I'm going to go ahead and secure the screws. Shouldn't be any problems. Full disclosure, I actually just said all this once, but the fan noise was pretty loud, so I'll say it all again. There was a minor hiccup when I installed the second DIMM of RAM. I booted the machine back up and it just sat there for a while. I'd say maybe about a good minute, minute and a half of the keyboard being lit, but nothing showing on the screen. So I got a little bit nervous, but I powered down the machine by, uh, by pressing the power button, so just a, a hard shutdown. I Remove both DIMMs and then put the new DIMM in slot A just to see if maybe there was something wrong with the slot B or to hopefully rule out an error or an issue with the actual DIMM itself. So once I installed the new DIMM in the in slot A, it did take about a minute or so for the machine to fully boot up. I did. I logged in the windows and there were no problems. Um, so then I said, OK, cool. The dim is good, so let me reinstall both dims back into the machine. Uh, again, I waited maybe another minute and a half to two minutes of the keyboard being lit, but nothing appearing on the screen. And then finally, we got the warning from the BIOS letting us know that the amount of system memory has changed. Uh, we click OK. Windows continues to boot. And then finally, here we are. So up here, we can see that we now have 64 gigs of RAM. And down here, instead of it saying one of two slots used, we are now showing that two of two slots are used. So we have successfully upgraded the memory in this Dell Precision 3470.